Hey guys, how are you today? So we're here with another vlog and um, whoever you are out there that just does not like any of the vlogs on my channels, my channel or the Periscope videos, just go ahead and, you know, stop watching now and give it a thumbs down because you know you're going to anyway. <laughs> so yeah, every single one of my vlogs and Periscope videos lately, they all get at least one thumbs down. I, I you know, I don't see, I never give thumbs down. FYI, if I don't care for a video that I watched to some, of somebody, I just stop watching. If I like the video, I give it a thumbs up and I make sure to make comments. But, you know, I, I just, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> it's puzzling. Um, what's going on right now? I'm doing um, a few different collaborations. I guess there are collaborations technically. Um, two YouTube video hops and one Periscope TV thing and with a bunch of other artists. Um, I have coming up on the 26th of September, Pass the Brush on Periscope. If you don't have Periscope, go to periscope.tv and download the app for your appropriate smartphone tablet device. It won't work on a desktop. Um, at least not at, right now, I don't think. Um, I'm doing a digi hop for Poet Spice here on YouTube with her digital images on October 3rd, which I haven't filmed yet, but I'm, I'm prepping for that today. <laughs> Hopefully I can film that tomorrow because I'd like to get these all like filmed and that I can get filmed and loaded and scheduled and yeah, we'll see. Um, and then on October 8th, I'm doing a video channel hop with Shannon Green and a bunch of other artists um, to promote some um, smaller channels, some really great smaller channels. I'm one of the biggies on the list. When did, when did that, that happen? When, when? And I'm approaching 4,000 very quickly. I just, when I started this channel, had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> um, it would be really cool if I could get to 5,000 before the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen, but you guys all out there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and share with your friends. You know, promote my channel for me. That would be great. Um, if you have a small channel, you'd like me to take a look at it um, and maybe um, add to my featured channel list on my channel's main page. By the way, I have a featured channel list. Ch featured channels list. Holy cow, I can't speak today. Um... And they're all small channels that are, at the time of me adding them to the list, were 500 subscribers or less. And um, really, some really great channels, and I'm going to keep adding to the list. So the list may get a little long. Um, and every once in a while, I will be probably editing the list, and as these channels get to be over 500, removing them. Not because they're not still good channels, but the idea is to promote the little guys and, you know... Um, so if you have a, if you you have a little channel or you know of a little channel um, that you'd like me to take a look at, um, send me the link. I'm happy to do that. Um, what else? I've got you know lists of stuff that you know I've got uh, video editing to do and uh, yeah 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 always stuff right always stuff. Uh, we had an incident, very strange incident with the sugar bowl this morning. Um, uh, all three of us went to bed loud. There's only three people in my house. My husband, myself, and our daughter. Went to bed last night. My sugar bowl was intact and one piece with sugar in it. Nobody is claiming responsibility for it, but when my husband got up this morning, the sugar bowl was broken. It is very weird. I only have three people in my house. I don't know very weird. I had to order a new one and I had to go to replacements.com uh, to get it because you can't just buy one sugar bowl at the store. Yeah, anyway. It's going to cost me like 20 bucks to replace the sugar bowl. I don't know. It's very weird. I got some happy mail though. On a less weird note, I got some more happy mail from Stephanie Parks in um, Auckland, New Zealand. And I love when she sends me these happy mail um, envelopes because not only do they come with all these really cool stamps but this the bags have this like aboriginal design on them so so cool so let's get this opened let me get some scissors I have no idea what this is and I wasn't expecting anything But 
she sends me some really great handmade stuff. And she always wraps it up so nicely. Nice piece of chipboard. I know that's just the packaging, Stephanie, but nice piece of thick chipboard. I'm going to have to save that. And a nice piece of bubble wrap. You know, we mixed media artists never have enough bubble wrap, right? And then she said, look at this. I mean, this is, she just, everything is just wrapped to perfection. And another really great piece of really thick, it looks like matte board. Fabulous, love it. Nice piece of corrugated cardboard. And I love, look at that, love that string. Here's an envelope with my name on it. Um, look at this paper. But you wish it was feel a vision TV? Where you, I wish you could feel this. It feels like a cotton fabric, the paper, like a cotton rag. And there is some book text in here. It feels like it's painted book text. Oop, they got a little stuck together. Probably because I bet you it got hot. Let me see if I can unstick it. Yeah, okay. So she's got her business card paper clipped on here, and there's a nice note. And I'm going to... Uh, read this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, she sent me a really nice note on um, a piece of book text that she covered with gesso and then kind of did a painty background, just plain painty background, and then she did her letter on top of it. That's a really great idea. And then she included, included this little small, look at that little embellishment, little bug. It's very cute. So she saw a video that I did recently where I talked about um, inchies. And I had that inchy book that's full. I love inchies. And she got an idea for making an inchy book that um, she made for me. Um, she also sent me some um, collage papers, some origami papers. <gasps> These are all feather patterns. <gasps> okay, I have to share with you guys. These are origami papers, she says. Look at this. These are so cool, Stephanie. She also said she watched my Lavender Watercolor Wednesday painting recently um, where I did the lavender flowers, and she enjoyed that very much. These are so cool. I love these. She sends me the best collage papers and tissue. Um, th these were wrapped in this piece of hand-painted, or handmade, I should say, paper that has real leaves in it. So cool. And this must be the book she's talking about. She said she went to the local cobbler and he helped her do some rivet something down on it. Rivet the clip to the folder for me. I don't know what that means exactly, but we'll find out. Oh, I feel what it means. So it's wrapped in a piece of, um, this is the kind of paper I use for drop paper. It's like packing paper. And it's made out of a mucilix bar box, um, mucilix, mucilix bar box, more, more bubble wrap. And um, I love that, that it's made out of a food box. Um, and she, basically, it's a little two ring binder. And um, look at this cover. 
I love the cover. And then inside, she's got a Tim Holtz. Um, this is a Tim Holtz, I think, two ring or similar um, two ring binder um, thing. And she had her cobbler rivet it to the cover for her. And then she created a um, inchy sheet protector. <laughs> Look at that. She created an inchy sheet protector so I can just fill it up with inchies and I could. Um, it's a good idea, and I could make more of these and put more pages in. And then I have a binder full of inchies. I love that. I love it. It's a great idea. Fabulous idea. Thank you so much. Um, you always send me the great gifts. It's wonderful. And I love the inchies she put in here, by the way. Did you guys notice that? Look at the inchies. Love that. All right. And that, yes, that is a great idea. I think that was brilliant. What else is happening today? Well, my desk is full of paper, as usual. Uh, I got to work on Poet Spice's DigiHop video. And I've got to edit some stuff on YouTube that has, oh, I bumped the camera, sorry, that has um, some problems with the descriptions underneath the video. I think that's it right now. I can't think of anything else. I need to get my hair done soon because, you know, it's turning white again. <laughs> I think that's all right now. Anyway, um, having fun um, just making art, um, you know, getting into a routine now that I am home full time and just doing art full time, um, finding a routine in my schedule that takes care of myself, has time for art, has time for my family and all of that stuff. Um, it's a big adjustment, but I'm working on it. And I think that's it right now. All right. You guys go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do some art. Go for a walk. Eat some vegetables. Eat your greens. Oh, my family has the hardest time eating leafy greens. They're good for you, though. All right. I'll talk to you all later. And, uh, oh, i got to film some collage videos because, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.